Just as every other year, Australia Day was organised in Masjid Mahmud, Adelaide. The day initiated with flag hosting, followed by a delivery of the Australian National Anthem, which was led by Atfal al Then, the main program began with recitation of the Holy Quran with English translation. Following that, two wonderful speeches were given by younger members of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community. I am so lucky to live in this beautiful country. One cannot truly appreciate it until they have seen it for themselves. As an 11 year old living here, I am lucky to have one of the greatest education systems in the world. As we gather here to celebrate Australia Day, I ask that you stop and think for a minute about why we call Australia the lucky country and think about what you can do to make this great country of ours even better. Australia is an incredibly diverse country and is home to so many different wonderful cultures and communities. But there's something truly unique that links everyone together here. A one of a kind shared spirit and attitude that is the Australian way of life. I'd like to say that I feel very fortunate to be born in this beautiful country. May God enable us to become a good citizen of Australia and serve the country at the best manner. Subsequent to that, all respected guests delivered a speech, which included Honourable Mark Butler MP, a federal member for Hindmarsh and Shadow Minister for Climate Change and Energy. Respected Steve Georgianus MP, a federal member for Adelaide. Mayor Angela Evans. Assistant Commissioner Scott Duval. Councillor Sadenda Paul, representing Mayor Michael Coxon. Councillor Helen Hilbiljik, Finden Ward, Charles Sturt Council, and Barbara Pocock, a Senate candidate for SA Greens. Towards the end, respected Mudabi Atif Ahmed Zahid Saib delivered a speech about a time of the Holy Prophet وسلم, dealing with the hardships of a country but never turning against it, as love of country is part of faith. The founder of religion of Islam, the Holy Prophet of Islam, has said, Hubbul Watani min al Imani, that the love of your country is part of your faith. So, following his teachings, our community is celebrating Australia Day in all the mosques across Australia. Succeeding this, the respected Nasir Sheikh Saib. President of Adelaide West gave a concluding speech to finish the Australia Day program and an appreciation to all guests and the 120 people who attended. Interviews of some guests were then held where the Ahmadiyya Muslim community was thanked for the wonderful program and our successful cooperation to the country of Australia. It's a real pleasure to be here. It's my first visit and I have felt very welcomed and are really thrilled to be sharing Australia Day with this community. It's great to be here at the Ahmadiyya community again. Um, there are many privileges that I get as a local member of parliament and being the local representative in our state parliament for this wonderful community and this mosque is such an honour. We had the most incredible time. We love the contribution that you make to our communities and we look forward to working with you in the future. So thank you for everything that you do. We were invited by um, a couple of the members of, of the community of the, from here. Um, they came to the uh, Tibetan Buddhist Institute on Saturday. We were all gathered there and they just came in and invited us. So we were absolutely delighted and thought it was a wonderful gesture. And so we were delighted to come today and listen to all the speakers. It's been a, it's been a privilege. May Allah the Almighty enable us to understand the sayings of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and grant success to these meaningful events. MTA International, Australia Studios.